So Matt Reeves's The Batman was a huge win by any metric that you want to put in front of it. It made, made almost $800 million, something like that. Audiences loved it. Critics loved it. And despite the whole Twilight Boy part about it, Robert Pattinson was great in it. It's a wonderful movie. But... Some of you guys might remember some time ago, a comic book writer accused Warner Brothers of plagiarizing the story for it and actually filed a lawsuit against Warner Brothers suing them for plagiarism. Well, we've got a judgment now in that case. And not only has the judge ruled that Warner Brothers is not guilty of plagiarism, the judge is saying that the comic book writer who brought the lawsuit is guilty of plagiarism. <laughs> that kind of backfired. All right, this comes from the folks over at CBR writing about this who said the following. Matt Reeves' The Batman, which stars Robert Pattinson as the Cape Crusader, just won the plagiarism legal battle it had been involved in. Now, here's the details of it. Comics creator Christopher Woz Wozniak, I should say, sued Warner Brothers for stealing his pitch for his Batman story, which he created three decades ago, titled The Ultimate Riddle, and later retitled The Blind Man's Hat. The comics creator worked as a freelance writer in 1990 for DC Comics and claimed Reeves' 2022 blockbuster stole his idea. On Wednesday, a federal judge ruled that Warner Brothers Entertainment didn't steal the plot, Reuters reported. Now, this is where the plot twist happens. In the 45-page decision, U.S. District Judge Paul Engelmeyer also accused Wozniak of copyright infringement. <laughs> the judge argued that Wozniak intentionally and without consent lifted material from DC Comics works to create his material. The judge said the story's use of the Batman character and the surrounding protected elements is an act of clear and blatant copyright infringement the judge wrote. Okay, so basically, <laughs> this guy who was not an employee of DC Comics, he was a freelance writer, mm -hmm. wrote this story without direction, came up with this story, apparently, uh, using Batman and Riddler and all that kind of stuff, copywritten protected characters of DC, and apparently pitched the idea. Now, the judge is saying that no, th there's too many differences between what Matt Reeves did and what you are proposing. And then the judge says, and by the way, you are guilty of copyright infringement. You wrote these things without permission of DC and you were creating these creative works using their characters. At which point he was like, I, I have an appointment. I got to go. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The, oh, no. <laughs> did I say sue them? No. Listen, and then Matt Reeves himself chimed in on this and he, he made the following statement. He said this. I did not use any material from the previous script written by Chris Terrio because there was a, an earlier draft of the script that he wrote, rewrote himself or any other material provided by Warner Brothers other than the Batman characters and universe Reeves addressed in a statement for the lawsuit. So Matt Reeves is saying, listen, I, I didn't even use any stuff from our own script before right. that. And it's shocking that, oh, because of the amount the Batman made, what if it flopped? Do you think this lawsuit would even existed? It reminds me of the Top Gun. The, didn't we have this with Maverick? Top Gun Maverick. There was an it article wins that a it wins a yeah. billion, and then someone's trying to get money from. Well, that uh, somebody's claiming that they they might have had a case. I can't remember what the exact issue was, but that was a totally separate thing. Oh though. yeah, that was a different. That, yeah, that wasn't plagiarism. Oh. That was just rights to it. Oh. Yeah, yeah oh, like, okay. arguing rights and stuff like that. And I can't remember if this lawsuit got filed before the movie came out in theaters, or oh. I think it was after it came out in theaters. Right. Mm -hmm. Regardless, I think it's an interesting thing because here's, here's where the judge's words could be consequential. Because if he's saying, listen, even you just writing a spec script, and a spec script to oversimplify it is when you write a script for somebody that they didn't ask you to write. <laughs> like, all right, that's, that, that's the best way I know how to define it. When you write a script for somebody that nobody asked you to write in the first place, <laughs> But, you know, in writing spec scripts, is the judge's words here sending out a warning that people who might want to write their own fan fiction or their own spec, like, I'm going to write my own episode of Reacher and send it to to Amazon, and maybe they'll want to use my, well, if you do that, maybe you can get sued 
for copyright. I don't know. It's very, very interesting. Guys, we want to take a moment and thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I heard that for a limited time, all Mint Mobile wireless plans are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they sell wireless services online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings on to you. And guys, you know, ever since I switched over to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than one third on my wireless bills than I used to with one of the major carriers. So say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. All plans come with high speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three month unlimited limited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions may apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Warner Brothers has won their lawsuit. They are not guilty of plagiarism. And the judge is kind of warning the writer. It's like, hey, you're actually the one who's guilty of plagiarism. What do you guys think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.